Hi there, it's me, Tefania Grant, founder of Girlfriends International. Thank you so much for tuning in with me this week. And today I wanted to take the time to celebrate the millions of women across the world who have walked away from a domestic violent relationship. I wanted to take the time to celebrate your strength, celebrate your courage that you were able to walk away. And I know that that was not easy for you, but you found the strength and you found the courage to do it. And I wanted to tell you that there is your future is brighter and there's so much more that God has for you. But I also want to take the time to encourage my friend who is still in that relationship where she feel like there's no way out, where she feel like she's in the middle of the ocean so far out that there's no one to rescue her, that she's sinking and she cannot, she does not have the strength to come out. She has, she does not have the strength to reach for help. And I want to say to you that I understand what you're going through because I too have felt that same emotion. I too have experienced um, being trapped in a relationship where I felt that I would never escape it. I literally thought that I was going to die. I thought that there was no way, no hope for me because this person was stronger than me. This person had rage, they had anger, and I believe the lies that that person told me. I believe the person when they told me that if I leave, they was going to take my child away. That I believe the lie that that person told me that if I left, that no one else would want me, that no one else would love me. And that before I leave this relationship, I was going to leave this relationship in a bag, body bag, or I was going to leave the relationship with my face scarred. And I believe that and that fear kept me bound. That fear had me to continue day after day dying inside in a relationship where I was not able to be loved the way that God has designed me to be loved. So my sister, I understand what you're going through. But I am here to tell you that you can do it, that you can walk away, that the only words as simple as this is to say, no, I will not tolerate. I will not continue. I cannot continue to live my life this way. And I'm going to share with you what was my moment that I realized that I had to walk away. And that moment came eight years later when I was in a hospital room because that person who I trust, I trusted with my love. I trusted with my life bust literally bust my forehead open and I was knocked out. I had to go to the emergency room and it was so bad that the emergency room doctors didn't even want to touch me because they felt that they were not skilled enough to stitch my fake, my forehead back together without leaving a scar. And I had to wait until a plastic surgeon came and he stitched my forehead. And that was the last draw. I decided that I was going to leave because if I stayed, I knew that I was going to die. But the key thing in me walking away was God's grace. The key thing in me walking away was God's strength. I am here today to tell you that it was not my strength because at that time I did not have strength. At that time I did not have a voice. At that time I was weak and I did not believe that I had it in me to walk away. So I had to reach out to God. I had to stretch out to him. And he gave me the strength and he gave me the courage and he gave me the willpower to walk away. And when I did, it was not easy because that person believed that I belonged to him forever. But God had another plan. God's plan was like, you belong to me forever. So after that, the journey was not easy. The person stopped me for a couple of months. I was not able to see my daughter. So there, it, it, was, it was a journey, but I can say this, that God gave me the strength. And now I own my story. I own my strength and I own my success. So I'm here to encourage you, my friend, that if I can do it, you can do it too. And if you only will trust in God, if you will only lean on God in this moment where you feel so weak and you don't have the strength to walk away. You don't have the strength to say no, because once you found that strength, the person has a way to kind of wheel you back in. 
by telling you that I love you, by telling you that I would never do it again. And because you were a woman, you feel sorry for that person. Because you were a giver, you still continue to give. But there's going to come a time when you're going to run out of your giving is going to run out. And that time is going to come when you don't have no more fight in you. And I can tell you this, that as a woman, you will always have a fight. You will always have a fight in you, but that fight sometimes can be broken. So I encourage you that before that fight or before that will is broken, cry out to God and he will give you the strength that you don't have for you to walk away. I hope this video was encouraging. Comment on the video, share your story with me. Let me know that this, my story was able to inspire you to walk away from something that's destroying your life. I'm here to tell you that if I can do it and millions of women across the world can do it, you can do it also. Have a great week. And as always, stay connected to God, stay connected to your family, but most of all, stay connected to yourself. Don't lose yourself in this. You are a winner and you can do it. Have a good week. Bye.